Hey everybody, it's Jackie Lee Armadillo and I'm back for another video and this is my husband Bobby. Hello. Say hi babe. Hi. Alright, so today we're going to try something new and we're calling it Try It Tuesdays. So we're going to try a little bit of, uh, I guess, snacks from different uh, places and today is the Philippines. So um, just a little disclaimer, we don't know anything about the Philippines or... You know, so if you ask questions, we don't know. But we're trying some different foods that we find at our local grocery store, which is the H-E-B here in Texas. And uh, so we're going to start off with the one that my husband chose. And, uh, yeah, you might have to cross your fingers for me. So here's what he chose. So as we're going down the aisle, I noticed some ta -da, <laughs> fish cracker chips. These are for the Philippines. Um... Everyone likes to enjoy a piece of cracker here and there with Coke or maybe with, um, you know, coffee. Um, I like fish, so these are flavored cracker fish. Um, we're going to try it out. We're going to see how it tastes. We're going to give you the, the lowdown. Um, like what my wife said, it's from the uh, local H-E-B here in Texas. It's usually what we call the, um, the import style for the uh, foods. Um, we're going to try it out. So... Yeah. Here we go. Um, see what happens. Okay. Just to let you know, I'm not very optimistic about this particular fish cart. So, as I open it up, it doesn't have a really big, distinct smell, but. Let's see. It does smell like cardboard. <laughs> it smells like fish, fried fish you order from a restaurant that's been left in the refrigerator for about a week. Yeah. Okay, and these are good amount size. Get it closer so you can see. That's what it looks like. It looks like if they would take that out of my stomach and preserve it and mm -mm. put fish. Mm -mm. Let's see. Let's show them this. Uh, yeah, it, I don't know about this. Here we go. Um, I'm going to smell it because I have a smell fetish. Let's see, look at that. Whoa, it smells like somewhat of a cracker. No. All right. So here we go. Let's murder these crackers. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like a puff pastry pastry fish. <laughs> no. No. This tastes like a. It tastes like cardboard. It tastes a like, little salted cardboard. To me, it tastes like a stale. And it's stale. Puff pastry fish chip. Mm -mm. For me, no. This is not good. I'm going to check the expiration date on this. I'm trying to hold up my vomit. <laughs> well, you see, and this is from the Philippines. It says right there. Proudly uh, made in the Philippines. I'm not sure if you can see that, if it's going to come out correctly, but it says proudly made in the Philippines, and it does say that it's a, you know, fish cracker. But you think that it said cracker would be crunchy, you know, because here in the United States, we our crackers are crunchy, and this is not. This is very stale, and it doesn't. It. I mean, it sounds crunchy, but when you eat it, it's actually very, um, very stale, like stale cereal. That's how it. That's how it pops. feels. Pops, still cereal. Yeah, yeah, pops. Yeah, corn pops. If you've ever had corn pops, that's how it tastes like. You know, but stale, very stale. So, anyways, we're gonna come back. We're gonna try this one here that I want to do, and it's um, I want to say that it's pronounced uh, Pancit, uh Canton Chow Mein, <laughs> and and you know um. I'm gonna see how it. I'm gonna see how these taste, and I'll be right back. I'm gonna go prepare it, and I'll be right back. Hello. Ah. Okay, I'm back again now. Before I put the hot water into the noodles, I wanted to show you again. These are the noodles that I'm trying. They're from the Philippines, and it's supposed to be chow mein original flavor right here. Um, and this is what the noodles look like right here. Nothing special, just like a, you know, a ramen, you know, soup that you would get. You know. 
and but this is why I decided to come back and show you this we have of course the special seasoning right there if you can see that and I think it's just a uh, chicken flavor um, nothing again nothing out of the ordinary but this is what kind of caught my eye and I wasn't too sure what this was so um, here's a package right here and it says um, due to temperature changes the sauce may have a crystal like salt particle so uh, which will melt freshly with the with the cooked noodles with the freshly cooked noodles but this right here was the one that uh, I wasn't too sure about it you can see that it doesn't really you know so I um, I wasn't sure what it was so I looked at the package and it says that it's a uh, oil so I'm thinking that's just kind of like like lard or something just to make the soup taste better I'm not too sure uh, but anyways uh, I'm gonna go now and pour the hot uh, boiling water into the soup and add these things and see how it tastes so I'll be right back okay so I'm back I'm almost done I promise but it does say in the instructions that I need it to open the little package of the soy sauce and that oil and mix it in with the seasoning. Now I'm going to tell you right now, it doesn't look very appetizing right now. This is what it looks like. You have to mix it up to create like a paste. And it does not look very appetizing, but it smells great. It smells really, really good. So I'm going to go, now it says to drain the noodles and pour them on top. So once again, I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I finally did it. I finally finished. Here's what the product looks like. This is what the noodles look like. It doesn't look like much, but it smells great. So here um, goes to some Philippine noodles. It's called chow mein. Hmm. Well, I think they could have a little bit more flavor, um, but it's pretty good. It does taste um, just like chow mein, and it's a light flavor, and I think that's what I guess the soy sauce and the oil was for, just to give it, you know, that more um, fresh uh, cooked flavor from home. So it does taste pretty good. Um, I, I think I would recommend this to, to you guys mm. if you would like to try it. It does taste pretty good, mm -hmm. and this is what it is again. Uh, I guess the, the brand is uh, right here, uh, Lucky Me, and you should try it. I, I do recommend this product, and I think my husband likes it too. Anyways, well, we're going to end this video with that, and I hope that you like it, and hopefully we'll uh, come back with a little bit more of these Try It Tuesdays, and hopefully you can try it with us. So fish crackers today and some Philippine noodles. My husband's still eating the fish oh. crackers. Um... But we're going to go because we're going to enjoy this. So you all have a, a good day, a good night, and hopefully we'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.